Hey YouTube, dropping a very quick video. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on my um, YouTube account about people not having problems loading my TSI files. Um, now this is for version 1.2 of Tractor Pro. So you have to make sure that first you have Tractor Pro and that second you're using version 1.2. So what you want to do is when you download the file, you know, save it to whatever you want to save it to. And then you want to open up your preferences and hit import. And then once that loads, you just point it to the direction of where your file is. I usually keep mine in a MIDI profiles page. And you open it. And then it's going to give you all these things. Um, like I have my own GUI layout so that you know, if you don't want to import that, if you don't want to import the way that I look at my tractor screen, you don't have to do that. Um, browser shortcuts, effects settings. But the two things that you do want to import um, are the controller mappings and the effect settings. So once you do that, um, you just hit OK. And then you'll get the TSI loaded. Now, in order for it to work properly, what you want to do is, um, if you've imported the one for the RMX, you know, just go for um, the RMX here in the window. And then over here on Import and Outport, I don't have mine plugged in right now, but if you have yours plugged in, it'll read it and it'll come up on this drop-down menu. So then you just select it on the Import and on the Outport, and that just verifies that the MIDI messages are coming in and out of the Hercules RMX. So pretty important, if you don't do that, um, it's not going to work. So that's something new for 1.2. They've, they've changed it around the way it works. Um, again, you know, if you have the Quark Nano Control, you import that, and then it'll show up on the list if it's plugged in right now. I don't have any of them plugged in, so obviously they're, they're not showing up on this menu. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just that, that little addition that when you do import them, Make sure you go under their specific menu and you import them on the in and out ports and everything should work fine after that. Cool. So hopefully this clears up a lot of your questions.